Hey guys, today is Monday, it's the 13th, it's bank holiday Monday, yesterday was Easter and today I'm just going to let you know what I've been up to today and the plans for today, even though a little bit scarce. So it's Monday, I'm planning on filming and uploading my weekly TBR a bit later tonight when I can sort of like really sort of focus on what I would like to read this week. Obviously it's a bit of a big decision sort of thing of what I want to read after my next book and so on and so forth. And also because I'm off work this week, I'm on annual leave, it was meant to be the show week this week for the musical, so yes, yeah, it's, it's quite sad. But things, well it is the way it is, you just, we just got to grin and bear it, you know, and just remain positive. So. I'm aiming on um, to sort of like relaxing and like gaming and reading this week, obviously like doing like minimal housework chores that need to be done, like you know, covering, cleaning, cooking, and the bins on a Wednesday sort of thing, um, so I'm not really going to like strain myself too much, because I've already had a good tidy of the flat before. Um, yeah, so we'll be just like doing some relaxing, catching up on reading definitely as well. So today I'm currently at Aaron's, he's gone off shopping to get some tea bags. I don't really know what the queue's going to be like because it is Bank Holiday Monday. So he could be there for a bit, so I'm just planning on just reading until he gets back. Um, and then we can chill and have a drink and probably watch Netflix or something together. Or, you know, I, he can game and I can read or I don't really know like what the plan is. But I'll probably leave later. The last time... I left roughly about like 5 p.m. which is okay for me because it meant that I could go home and get some dinner and then I played some fun of fantasy so it might be the situation again today roughly around that time because I was working tonight um, but the aim is really to just relax um, and read and game sort of thing so yeah there is that um, but yeah, I've had a, I had a good evening last night and woke up a bit more fresh today. I'm still a little bit tired, but I think it's just antibiotic sort of thing. So I'll also take my antibiotic for Monday when I'm home later as well, because if anything happens, at least I've had it whilst I'm at home. And I'll, I'll try and have it with some food and see if it works better with food. Because the one that I had on Saturday morning, I don't take with food. And it always, it always gives me a funny tummy, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna see how it goes. And Saturday morning at work was just like, it's horrible, just cramping stomach and everything. So I'm gonna head off now so I can get some reading done and yeah, and then chill. And I'll either film for you guys later of what I managed to get done. Um, if not, then tomorrow morning. <laughs> I have just had a delivery of takeaway and I just thought whilst I well I was actually in the middle of sorting my reread books so I thought I need to get these finished so um basically this is my reread shelf it's in my room and it's got four mini shelves all together I got this little bookshelf from eBay about just well over a year ago I'd say and it's very cheap it's like a, a, a sort of like a kiddish bookshelf really you just build it with the poles and the material but it's ideal for me because i wanted a little mini bookshelf in my room just to sort of make it sort of a lot better really for a reader sort of thing so basically around me i've got piles of rereads some are in series some are standalones there's some hardbacks here and yeah so these all fit on here but I've got a list here of all of them that I own and I just would like to go through the list and tick off the ones that I've already got 
So I'll go through the list of the ones that I've originally got and I'll put them on the bookshelf. And any ones that I've got left over, I'm going to add to the list so that my rereads are up to date. Basically, whenever I go to my nans and if there's a series or a book that I'd like to reread, then I take it from there, but I always forget to add it to the list. So this is just sort of me updating my list. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to see how I go. Hey guys, so today is Tuesday and I'm just going to update you on everything. Yesterday I was playing Final Fantasy 7, played a good chunk of that in the middle of the day and then I sorted my reread books which you guys saw a short introduction for and so I found that there was about 10 books from my rereads that I didn't have on the list so I've added those so I feel so much better just to be more organised and then I did a bit more reading and I ended up finishing one of my books you'll find more about that in the reading vlog section and then later on in the evening around 9 p.m ish I returned to my bedroom and I ended up starting another book which was an ebook that I've got for review they came out last month and I read about 10% of that but again you'll find more about my thoughts and what books and stuff like in my actual reading vlog and then I went to bed this morning I woke up around well I woke up twice like randomly in the morning like five o'clock and then six o'clock or something stupid like that and then I fell asleep and then I actually woke up and got up around 10 a.m and then I got out of bed and I got some breakfast had some cereal a cup of tea and then I did a bit more reading I am now near enough like a quarter through the books that I'm currently reading and then I went and played some Final Fantasy 7 then I had some lunch which was my leftover pizza and chips from yesterday and then I went and brushed my teeth because it was all garlicky and then I sat down and I read and finished a graphic novel and then I played some more Final Fantasy 7 and I literally just finished it. So I am chapter 11 in Final Fantasy 7 Remake at the moment. I'm finding me taking breaks from gaming, like reading or even just like laying here just to like, in a way kind of, I suppose, meditate, just to sort of sit here and just breathe for like 10 minutes. Which is why I've got these calming waves going on my TV at the moment. It's very, very calming and relaxing. And the sun is shining as well, which is really, really good. And just taking these breaks in between is what make it, is making me feel better. So now that I've finished a big chunk of Final Fantasy, I'm going to go back on to reading for a good hour. That's like my next target. And you know, when you're a reader and you own so many books and you literally sit down and you're just like what book do I want to read next or you're just all of a sudden feeling really overwhelmed with everything like I'm feeling overwhelmed with all other games that I've got but not as much as like my books like I literally I look at the pile of books just over there that's just on my beanbag chair next to my bookshelf or even just looking at my bookshelf and I just get like stupidly overwhelmed and I'm just like I want to read these books but I'm not that fast of a reader and it's just like yeah it's crazy and also I've got books to reread because I would like to continue on with the series so that's why they are there to reread and I'm slowly making my way through those piles I'm making my way through the making out series and I read a graphic novel that was a reread as well and I really really enjoyed that that was a quick and enjoyable read and yeah I know I've been doing a lot of rereads this year and there's a lot of rereads that are on my 2020 TBR actually. I've got The Darkest Minds Girl Online and The Archived over there waiting to be read to be to come out for when I'm ready to read them. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah City of Lost Souls is a reread for me, Untamed is a reread and that's on my actual monthly TBR, same with Shatter Me. So I do actually have quite a few rereads 
but I do intend to read them for a purpose, which is just to read and continue on with the series. So it is my aim. But yeah, I'm just, and I'm just. There's just so many books that I want to read, and so many books I want to continue and attack. And yeah, I'm just feeling really overwhelmed, and I'm just sort of like, but I want to read obviously one book at a time, so that I enjoy that book at a time. But also at the same time, I'm I'm lacking a little bit of motivation as well. So I really sort of need to get the ball rolling with the motivation to read. So yeah, but the weather's really good. Um, and like I say, I've been doing all the things I want to do today. And there's no like massive errands that I need to get done today. And the weather's great. Can't really go anywhere because we're still on a lockdown, obviously. I'll tell you something, my nose has been running so much today. And it's I think it's to do with the fact that it's like the sun's out and then the flat feels really cold, so it's like a mixture of temperatures and the winds blowing from the bathroom. And circulating around my flat as well so it's just yeah and plus my nose is just always like that and I'm feeling really tired whether that's the antibiotics or whether it's just me I'm not really sure but I feel mentally exhausted it could be the fact that I've been gaming and reading and sort of like testing my brain and all of that um, but yeah but all in all today's been a good day I need to at some point update my diary because I haven't done that for a few days and it, I, you know I've put it on my daily checklist for me to do I edited some videos yesterday as well, I edited a video to go up today and I edited a video to go up tomorrow so yeah I've been pretty good with my video editing and yeah didn't really want to pressure myself too much with any video editing today I thought I'd take a break from all that but if I feel like something like you know taking a break from something video editing is a really good idea and there's always videos for me to do like I've got weekly vlogs, I've got reaction videos to edit as well, and I've got loads of those to do, so yeah. And when I'm up to date with my reactions to the first year of booktube, like to my TBRs and to my hauls, then I'll go on to like my second year of booktube and react to those and whether I've read those books sort of thing. And yeah, I really need to start looking back at my reactions and sort of like if I've read them. So I might look back at my reaction in the second of my first book haul and see the books that are on there and maybe I could pick one of those up this month because I'm really really behind on like the books that I've had on my TV on the longest so I might pick one of those books up this week so yeah maybe a looking looking back at my videos might be another break too I haven't watched any book two videos in a while so it might be good for me to now watch a couple of book two videos as well as update my diary and that would be like taking a break from reading and gaming so I'm feeling po positive about that so normally when I watch book two videos as well it does spur me on to do some reading too but yeah um, so I'm gonna head off now and I'll do that. I'll update my diary and I'll watch some booktube videos, especially I'll look back at my reaction but so I'll watch my booktube videos and I will have a little look at those books. So yeah, that's it from today so far. The aim for the rest of the day really is like I say is just to update my diary and watch the booktube videos. After that I'm gonna get some more reading done and I see where I am with time, it's probably gonna lead me towards dinner time but to be honest I'm not really hungry so I'm just going to keep on doing things until I get hungry so it could be the fact that you know 6pm or 7pm I maybe get something small to eat because I had some pizza earlier so it's not really like that stressful. The handy thing about the pizza was that I managed to make it last three meals worth so that's like really good so it's like £13 divided by three which is like I suppose good for me for a naughty meal I suppose it is naughty um, and it's gonna be my naughty takeout for the month sort of thing so yeah um, just gonna chill for the rest of the day don't really know what else I can do I watched some friends earlier when I had my lunch um, part of me just want to put on a movie or something but I don't really know yet I I've kind of got my reading brain on where I just I, I want to need to read because I've just got so many books but I don't want to pressure myself as well so yeah there is that too so I'm gonna head off now to get those couple of bits done I will either update you tonight 
or tomorrow morning on what I managed to get done for today as well as what I hope to do tomorrow. Every day is a different day, I never know what I want to do. Um, I, I might decide that I have a bath tonight but don't really know yet, it all depends on how I feel, sometimes I'm too exhausted for those and I might just end up having just a shower in the morning sort of thing, <laughs> just who knows, or shower tonight or something, it just honestly it depends how I feel but yeah that's it really for today and updating you on yesterday so i'm heading off now and i'll speak to you guys very soon hey guys today is wednesday i'm just here to quickly update you on everything so yesterday i was reading in between playing final fantasy 7 remake i think i played about three three sections of it um separately and um yeah really really enjoyed it and then i managed to do a bit of reading as well and i believe i got to roughly i think 42 percent and then i went to bed and then i read a bit more and then i got to about 60 percent last night and then i went to bed and then i woke up this morning and then i went and had a shower and then I've done a bit more reading. I'm currently 66% through the book that I'm reading. And I've already played a section of Final Fantasy. A good hour of it. And I've had some lunch which was a ham salad sandwich with some crisps. And I boiled a few eggs. I boiled about five eggs because... I was sort of thinking of making some egg mayonnaise so that I can have some in sandwiches or with a jacked potato or something um, but mostly like sort of with sandwiches so at least it can last like the next couple of days so yeah and the eggs are really you know they're really cheap they're only like just over one pound that I got last week for like a crate of 15 eggs so yes yeah, so I thought I'd boil some and so they're currently sitting in a bowl just cooling down I will peel them a little bit later after they've cooled and yeah and then I will create some egg mayonnaise but I think what I might do is at the moment I'll just I'll just when they have cooled down I'll peel them and then they are I'll just leave them as hard boiled eggs in a bowl and then when I want to actually make the sandwich I can sort of like use the fork and sort of mash it and then add mayonnaise and sort of things so I can do that at the time so that it um, lasts a bit longer. So, so yeah, so yeah, it doesn't sound very exciting at all. So today's Wednesday, which if you guys have been watching, you'll know it's my bin day tomorrow. So that means I've got to empty my bins later, later tonight. And it also means it's hamster cleaning day. So I'm going to wait until a bit later, possibly after dinner, maybe just before dinner. I'm just going to see how I feel and also depending on what time cookies awake and then I can give them a good clean, give the place a good hoover and then I can empty the bins a bit later on. So last time I did it quite far apart because it's it's so light now it doesn't die down to quite late so I might just I might do cookie like sort of like later on in the evening because that's normally when he is awake having a little munch he does have a little munch and nibble throughout the day because i i hear him as i walk by like i caught him earlier nibbling on a bit of carrot so yeah he does nibble throughout the day but i think it's just a bit fairer during his waking times of evening to actually officially get him up so i'll probably think about doing that later tonight probably between seven and eight and then i can just do all of that i used to like do him about eight o'clock anyway so maybe if i try and keep it like that and then um when i am sort of like hitting the hay at about 9 p.m ish i might just empty the bins that way so maybe if i do do it at 8 p.m i can clean and then i can quickly hoover and then i can do the bins around then and i need to try and remember to empty the bag that's in my car because I've got a carry bag in my car full of rubbish that I need to chuck as well. So I must remember to do that when I'm chucking the bins out. So I'll do that a bit later as well. So yeah, kind of like a bit of an errand day. I've already cleaned my sink out like with cream cleaner. It's like a lemony cream cleaner. But just got rid of all sort of like lime scale and food and horrible stuff like from when you drain your plates and everything so 
yeah it's just uh, yeah I just gave that a good clean and uh, yeah that's all I've got you done the sun's shining again it's a nice beautiful day I've got some waves going on and um, yeah I'm just pretty much just reading so I'm reading for the next sort of I suppose hour or 45 minutes and then I'll probably play a bit more Final Fantasy again I'm really enjoying it um, I've just decided last minute to low-key participate in the Reading Rush TBR readathon that starts tomorrow 16th to the 19th so low-key done a TBR for that which I've written down and I'm going to contain it with the next few books I'm reading so I'll talk about those books in my actual reading vlog though but there's four challenges so I've put obviously one book towards each challenge but I don't think I'll get them all read I just want to have a target of reading one of them but I just thought it's a way of me reading with everybody sort of thing so I'm gonna head off now to finish this reading play more Final Fantasy and then I can do those errands way later tonight dinner wise don't really know what I want to eat probably a jacket potato if I'm honest because there is I think I've got two or three on the side, so I'll probably have a jacket potato. Use up that green leaf salad, which I've got to use, and I can use a tomato or two. I've got some cucumber. So yeah, I'm going shopping, hopefully Friday. Milan's given me her list as well, so I'll try and get all of that done um, on the Friday. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's that really. So yeah pretty much just chilling i know it just seems like a really sort of boring week but what else can you do in isolation you know can't really do a lot i mean i'm an introvert at heart anyway so i would have just been doing this anyway but um well actually no evening wise i would have been doing my show because this is show week so yeah it's crazy crazy times that we're in but yeah i'm enjoying being an introvert obviously i've got to remain positive I was feeling, if honest, a little bit depressed earlier, just again, just the whole fact that can't see family and can't do certain things and I'm worrying about appointments that I've got. I've got an appointment in May, which is most likely cancelled. I need to check that because I'm in April now. And um, yeah, and I've got a hospital appointment in July, which eventually I'll have to check if isolation continues for the next few months so yeah um yeah it's crazy do you reckon i need to write a will just in case i do die like in case i do catch the coronavirus and that i'm one of those unlucky people that does die from it do you reckon it's worthy of writing a will or is that being too sappy and soppy and and too dark <laughs> like i don't know so many people have died from it and all sorts of ages not just old people like young people middle-aged people i don't know like i literally just i don't know whether it's worthy writing some sort of will <laughs> i don't know it's crazy so yeah so i'm gonna head off now finish off this reading and then i'll go pill me eggs and then I'll play some Final Fantasy. I might watch some more booktube videos. Later, I really enjoyed watching a few booktube videos yesterday to spur me on to do a bit of reading whenever I watch them. So whenever I'm feeling unmotivated, I'll watch a booktube video, someone's TBR, someone's book haul, or someone's recommendations, or someone's review or something. It spurs me on to read. So yeah, especially if it's a book that I'm currently reading, it's good to read a review about it. So yeah, so I'm going to head off now, get those bits done, and I will speak to you guys very soon. Hello everyone, today is Friday, and just here to let you know what happened yesterday. So I went to Aaron's yesterday, and we had a good chat, and then I went shopping, then I returned, and we chatted and hung out some more, and then I went home later on in the evening around 6pm 
and then got myself some dinner, got myself some this rice dish and then I played some Final Fantasy 7 Remake and I near enough went to bed after that so I actually didn't do any reading yesterday so I feel really guilty for that I'm going to try and make up for it today by finishing the ebook that I'm currently reading I've got about one hour of reading left of it so yeah and I think it's like 79% through so I can easily finish that today and I just want to get it read and done um, not because it's like a bad book, it's just the fact that, you know, whenever I'm that close to finishing a book, I just want to get it finished sort of thing, almost like an achievement. And that way that I've read and completed two books this week, which is good for me. So today the weather is shit. <laughs> it's literally, it's just like, it's raining. Like, I'll show you quick. Like, out there, it's just proper dull and drizzly and raining and oh it's so yucky oh yeah i've got some jazz music playing this time um i've been editing videos so i edited and uploaded my friday read slash reading rash tag and tbr video because reading rush started yesterday even though i didn't do any reading i knew that i probably wouldn't and so technically it starts for me today so once i've got this ebook finished i can then begin my reading rush book which is going to be this one and yeah so i'm really looking forward to doing a bit of reading today i'm in the reading mood so i'm like yeah i've already had my breakfast today i had these blue wheats they're called like blue wheats but it's like blueberry sort of like wheat things and um i put like a whole banana in and mashed it up and then i just had some sweetener powder just sprinkled over it as well just to make it all sweet and it was really nice. Had a cup of tea as well. I am feeling so tired. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so tired. I did wake up a couple of times during the night. But yeah, I just I feel so like really tired. Like, is it to the antibiotics? I don't really know. I just it's just like I don't have any energy. I'm really bunged up as well, so I could have some sort of like hay fever or allergy or something. But I'm really, really like oh, I could easily just sleep right now and I probably will end up doing it because I'm feeling it really here in my sinuses. I have been sneezing, I have got a runny nose so I might possibly have some sort of sinus sinusitis or like some sort of just flared up sinuses and possibly hay fever so I might take an allergy tablet and if it goes then that it was an allergy. Um, and hopefully it's not something like a cold because I don't really want another one of those. But yeah, I got my shopping bits yesterday. I've got some ciders, which are like over there. There, really, really nice from Lidl's. Only one pound something. They were under two quid anyway. They they weren't really that expensive, and I got six of them. So yeah, really happy with those. And I got some meals as well. So I had the rice meal, which I'm going to end up having today as well, which is really good. I managed to make it last two days. So I've still got some egg mayonnaise left over, so I'm going to have that for lunch, egg mayonnaise and tomato sandwich. And then I will go and have the rice for dinner. Sorry, I just had like a random brain fart then, just thinking, like all of a sudden my brain just stopped. It was just like, overload. Yeah, just know what to do. So yeah, the weather's pretty shit, but I suppose in a way it's good weather for being inside. Oh, they announced yesterday, I believe it was yesterday, that we have now got another three weeks of lockdown where people have to stay at home for three weeks. Obviously I can't because of my work, I'm a key worker, I work in the care industry, so I still return back to work. So I suppose in a way I'm grateful that I do work, but it's a shame we don't get anything extra for it. Some places are getting... 15% or something for going to work but we don't get anything for it and it's just like oh, it's so annoying the only good thing I suppose is um, our manager gives us like snacks and drinks like in a little mini fridge at work for us to have on our breaks so I suppose anything's good right so I suppose maybe they understand the government just aren't being great with us like we're the key workers we're the ones that have to go out and risk our lives for catching this virus you know and we don't get anything extra for it which is it's very shit really 
but luckily I've been okay so far, touch wood, I've been okay. And I've been taking more vitamins, I've been eating healthily I suppose you could say, like by eating fruit. I have at least a banana every day, so I'm having my banana which is giving me potassium and energy and I take multivitamin tablets and omega 3, so I'm covered for that. Um, my nan has ordered me some turmeric and zinc tablets because I ran out of those and I don't know how long those will take to come. I also got an email the other day saying that my powdered bleach is going to arrive this weekend. And then I got a notification yesterday saying it's going to arrive Saturday, so that's good. So I will be able to do my hair at the weekend so that I will return to work with blue hair <laughs> Just, yeah I'm really excited about that I have no idea what some people are going to think because some some of my staff like my friends know that I'm going to go blue but like others I'm not going to have a clue but I just thought during these dark times why not put a bit of brightness into my life as well as everybody else's but being like that's the girl with the blue hair and like it kind of it weirdly suits me as well and I miss having it back before like when I had my hair cut I loved it when it was really long and just like this and now that my hair's getting the length that it was again it's ending up being like oh yeah so I'm really really excited about that so I've done the two videos that I needed to edit and upload obviously one's gone up today being the Friday Reads and TBR and then I've got my best books of the decade going up tomorrow and then I've got to just film and upload my wrap up on Sunday and then film up upload my weekly TV on the Monday because I'm off Monday as well I return to work on Tuesday so yeah mm. oh that's a good stretch <laughs> so I've been feeling a little bit like crazy about my books as in like you know when you sort of lay there and you've got so many books and it's like so many books at a time and you just want to read them all at once or you don't know what to read next or you do know what you want to read next but then you're thinking about your next read even after the book that you're reading i've been like that at the moment and i need to like try and t tell my mind just slow down slow down chill out because just read what you enjoy obviously get your review books spread and whatever as well but we need to just sort of chill <laughs> so i've been feeling a bit of that at the moment which is why i ended up pulling out wither which actually isn't on my tbr and it isn't on my weekly tbr either i just all of a sudden was like looking at the books i've owned for so long and i was like i really really want to read one of them and i know that if i do read it it will make me feel really really good so i just wanted to read a book and also this book is on my 2020 tbr as well so that's why i pulled out as well so it's gonna get done like because i know that when i do read books like that like I feel really really good and I know that it will put me in such a good mood so it is the next book that I want to read I've owned it since I started booktube so that's seven years now this year and actually seven years now because my first book haul video was in January when I hold this so yeah it is seven years now that I've owned this book I have got other books that I've owned even longer before booktube which I haven't mentioned in videos because I own them for so long and maybe I should do a video of those ones like books that I own before booktube that I still haven't read and maybe those will really really guilt trip me so keep that in mind but I'll, I'll probably film that on a day when the weather is better because they're all in my garage and in order to film them I'd have to film in my garage so I'd have to make sure that the weather's really good for one so that the lighting's really good um, so it might be something that I end up filming on Monday maybe but we'll see we'll see what happens because I don't really know what's happening Monday yet um, but it also might be something that I could film on Saturday or Sunday as well with my hair so who knows really so plans for today guys right I've done my videos now I've had all my breakfast my next agenda is for me to get down and just read and finish this book once that is done I will need to do the review for it on NetGalley because I got it for review and I will have to film a video review on it as well because it's a review book and whilst it's fresh in my mind it's better for me to video review it and I've charged my camera battery now so it's ready to go 
so yeah that, that'll be next on the agenda so once I've got that book sorted and reviewed and out of the way then I'll probably go on to well I'll see where the time leads me it might be like lunchtime by then if it is lunchtime I'll get some lunch I'll get my sandwich sorted and then I'll watch some booktube videos with my lunch but basically after all that I want to play some more Final Fantasy 7 I am loving the game so so much like it's such a good game like I really really enjoy it so yeah and then after that I will go on to reading a bit so I'm only going to try and plan and see if I can play for like an hour I'm doing some side quests at the moment that are a lot about like finding things and it's just like oh this is so annoying like I've got to run around and just find things and it's like oh where do I run to so yeah that's that really and then yeah it's just gonna literally be like a gaming reading gaming reading gaming reading day with you know lunch being slotted in and then dinner being slotted in and then by the time it gets to about 9 p.m i tend to sort of like see how i am if i'm really really feeling tired then i will go and sit in bed and i'll probably like update my diary or something like i did last night and then i nearly just go like Phew. i only had about four hours sleep um the other night slash in the morning um i woke up like several times i just was really really unsettled so yeah i slept a bit better last night but i still woke up like two three times i don't know why it is uh, it's been such a long time since i've actually like collapsed and just slept straight through and i think the last time i did that was on my third long day shift after i worked it i was so tired that i just collapsed and then woke up <laughs> in the morning the very next day that was the last time I've actually properly slept a whole night through so it's been a while maybe my brain has just got so much going on at the moment with this lockdown that I'm just not settling or like you know because I'm not I suppose this week exercising as much as I normally do like if I go to work you know I would normally be doing the show so I'd be really exhausted this week otherwise you know doing the show in the evening I should be sleeping really well but I'm not doing the show so it could be that as well so yeah so I'm gonna head off now so I can get that reading done and all that but I will update you guys very very soon hopefully tomorrow about what I actually managed to get done and everything and yeah I'll speak to you guys very soon I'm currently in the process of dyeing my hair. Today is Sunday, so it's the last day of the week. So I'm at home today. Yesterday I went and saw Aaron, and whilst he slept on the sofa, I was next to him reading. So I did a bit of that. I watched the latest episode of Riverdale, which came out recently, and um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. And then I did start a K-pop drama. Um, one morning call I think it's called so I watched like half of the episode one I had to leave after that and um, then I came home and I got some dinner I had some pulled pork and chips and salad and then I played some Final Fantasy 7 until near 10 p.m and then I went to bed didn't do any more reading I was that tired and I had nightmares because I had cheese with my chips. I had like these cheese slices that I was cutting up with the chips, so they were like cheesy chips. And every time I eat cheese, I have nightmares. And I had this horrible nightmare about this resident that was looking after. And it was like they were sort of like alien or something because they kept on like reappearing. It was like a weird horror novel like sort of thing like they just kept on like reappearing and then trying to escape and then oh, I was just weird and then they were like um, I'm trying to remember like we had some sort of parties and that and then I remember doing checks with someone and then I remember volunteering to do the tea trolley round like it's weird I haven't been at work but yeah I had a work sort of related dream yeah it was, it's bizarre I can't quite put my head around it so yeah so I got up today and um, I kept on like falling asleep, waking up, falling asleep for several times in the morning, 3 a.m., 5 a.m., 7, 9. It was frustrating. Um, but I feel a bit refreshed even though I have woken up several times. So I went straight 
into the bathroom. I got my hair dyeing clothes. This has always been my hair dyeing t-shirt. And I just wear some shorts um, so that none get on my legs. And yeah, I mixed up one sachet of powder and one little bottle of cream peroxide, which are so hard to get hold of because of this virus thing that's going around. So hard to get hold of. It took me about two, three weeks before they came in stock for me and then took another week for them to arrive. So I've luckily got some powder bleaches and um, so I put petroleum jelly around my head so that it wouldn't affect my head. Um, and then I got some gloves and then I mixed it in to this rectangular sort of like Chinese dish bowl that I've always used for it and then I just applied it with the gloves as you can see it's already turning blonde but the hair that was red unfortunately is going to be probably quite ginger but I'm leaving it on to develop for as long as I can so as you can see on the back of the head here there. So it's just still quite like orangey browny and um, yeah now that my hair is longer I probably will end up need to start using like two packets of like peroxide sort of thing so yeah but actually I just suddenly realized like whilst talking to you I do still have my overtone stuff so I can actually still use that to make my hair like last longer and brighter and that came all the way from America, that stuff, that overtone. So I can use that now that I'm going blue again. So the blue is down there waiting on the thing. First of all, it's to bleach. And what I was thinking of doing is when I need to wash out the bleach, I can have my shower at the same time because I'm showering today as well. So I thought, why not have a shower and wash it out at the same time as washing my body sort of thing. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm leaving it to develop probably for another 20 minutes and then wash it out. Obviously the roots have definitely gone blonde. It's just, it's the colour where it hasn't, but the only way of seeing is like when I finally actually wash it out. But I try to like get the places where I need to get um, different tones of blonde actually, which is quite interesting. Like some are like sort of like strawberry blonde, sort of like orangey colours. So I'm a really bright, bright, like luminous blonde where that's obviously my roots. Um, and then where I've had the colour of the red, some has turned like pinky. I think as long as I can go blue, so it matters. I just wanted to lighten my hair so that I can go blue. So yeah, but I'm very, very excited to go blue. Hopefully that little tube of blue lasts all my hair because now that my hair's longer again, it's... Uh, well, it needs a lot more application, so hopefully the blue is pretty good. Luckily, with things like hair colours, they do um, sort of like mash in well. It seems like bleach, but because it dries, it's gloopy. And I found that there were certain places earlier where I couldn't like rub it in because it was just so dry. So yeah, obviously I need to think about the next time that I will need probably two two powders so probably in each box will be like two applications rather than when I had short hair it'll be four applications and um, the blue hair dye we'll see how far it goes but it might be that maybe I need like two of them sort of thing I can't remember like what I needed when I used to have longer hair so the main agenda is to do my hair today I've been meaning to do it ever since I gained the pack on the Friday <coughs> So other than that, I just, I want to do a lot more reading. I'm really enjoying Wither, I'm about 100 pages through it. So I want to read a bit more of that. My target was for me to just read another book this weekend, but I just haven't been able to, which has been quite annoying. Like I slept quite a lot in the afternoon yesterday sort of thing. So I just, yeah, just sometimes things just don't go to plan. I do really want to, but then also at the same time, I really, really want to play Final Fantasy. So 
but also at some point this week I really really wanted to go and wash my car but I've been waiting for good weather and today's the good weather but today is the day for me to do my hair so I might have to postpone cleaning my car like next week sort of thing um, like when it's all planned out and that sort of thing just plan it better to just go over to my nan's and use her car cleaning stuff because she's got loads of car cleaning stuff like car shampoo and all that and also um, got some screen wash as well that I need to top up and yeah just cleaning my car really because it's so dirty so just want to like get everything out and then just sort of like clean it and then let it dry polish it up my god it's going to be so dirty the water's going to be gross I'm probably going to have to use several tubs of water put it that way so yeah but it's just it's one of those things and yeah so that's something that I'll probably end up doing next week um We'll just see how I go with time, maybe like next Friday or something, I could do that because I'm working at the weekend um, and I'm off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but I believe I'm, I'm busy Wednesday and I'll probably be, yeah, so I think, yeah, I think on the, on the Wednesday and possibly a bit of the Thursday I'll be busy, but so yeah, it, Friday would be the better day to do it. And that way it's done before I start work at the weekend. So yeah, I think apparently we have a new rotor out. Um, so I'll see that on Tuesday. Um, but we shall see. So another 15 minutes of this. And then I'll go wash out and shower. And then we will start the process of the blue. <laughs> After we obviously dry my hair and everything. My hair is going to be, I have to put a bit of conditioner in it. Because bleach just dries the hair. So I have to put some conditioner in to just make sure that the bleach is properly washed out and everything and then we will go from there. So I'm going to head off now so I can get the rest of this sort of like developed and then I will speak to you guys a bit later showing you my hair result because it's going to take a good couple of hours because of like washing it out, drying it, re like applying the blue, letting it develop for a good half hour, washing it out, drying it. So it's going to take a good couple of hours for that. So I'll just get myself a cup of tea and some breakfast within the next 15, 20 minutes. And then I will wash it out. My hair doesn't feel itchy, so that's really good. Like sometimes I've found like burning and itching going on, but actually it's been all right this time. So I probably don't have a lot of eczema like on my scalp, which is really good. So yeah, so I'm gonna head off now. I'm gonna get those bits done and I will speak to you later showing you the blue result. I'm very, very excited to show you guys. The part one is done. And as you can tell, it's actually come out in the light. It shows a bit better, but it looks at the moment, really really orangey and but you know what some bits are really really blonde if I really really show you under the roots they are really really blonde and the rest are like so it's almost like I've got blonde highlights with sort of ginger hair I actually kind of like this hair color so if it weren't for the fact that I was definitely going blue I would have kept this so I've just dried it, obviously I washed it out and dried it and I'm just going to take a break for a little whilst I can do some laundry in the washing machine and then when that's all done and on the thing and drying I'll go ahead and I'll get started with the blue. So I thought I'd give my hair a little bit of a break because it's just had some bleach in it which is going to kill it. But things happen but yeah I'm really I'm liking this peachy color I think that's really cool very peachy oh that's why he made a noise last night I was like why is cookie making a noise and it's because his sticker cake has oh he's eating most of it so I'm trying biological washing powder in this wash it's meant to be fresh lavender i put a couple of scoops in and i also put a scoop of oxyclean in and a couple of cups of fabric conditioner so we'll see if this turns out like to be really really clean and bright and no stains then obviously the washing powder is what i need to use so yes i'm going to finish my breakfast and cup of tea 
because I abandoned that to wash my hair out and we'll do a bit more reading and then when, like I say, when all that washing's done I'll head on to part two of the hair dye. <laughs> 